Okay, now we only have three left, and it's time to face Xemnas' left hand man. Number three in the organization, Data Zaldin. I'll say this, I consider Data Zaldin to be the toughest of the Data fights, unless you're playing on the PS3 version, in which case then I consider Xemnas to be the hardest of the PS3 fights. More, or the PS3 fights, the Data fights. Anyhow, Data Zaldin is really nasty, you've gotta be really good at using the learns and jumps if you want a chance at beating him. And even then, he's still very tough. So, battle Zaldin again, but he's stronger than before, let's do it. Oh yeah. Where's the fun in this? I don't know, Zaldin. <laughs> Come on. So we're gonna throw out a raffle get to begin. To avoid that. And hopefully hurt him just like that. So at the beginning of the fight we don't really need to use the learns. Later on though, we definitely are. When he does wind guard me, that means you can't hurt him. That's a tough one to deal with. There we go, got seven learns off of that. We're gonna match the A button. Each jump that we get from a learn will deal a good chunk of an HP bar's worth of damage. And now we can get a combo finish around him. Okay, this is the attack I want him to do. For this, all we have to do is really do quick aerial dodges, followed by some learns, and we can easily get nine learns off of it. Or nine jumps, rather. Okay, you don't want to use jumps when he's doing wind gardening, though. Because if you do, it'll barely do any damage. And you want to do short aerial recoveries, or er, aerial dodges, so that way... That way you can keep doing the learns over and over again. Okay, that was his desperation move. That was a mistake. <laughs> you can't damage him when he's doing that. Zaldin's a fight where, like, once you get the basics down, you can get him down to low HP pretty consistently, but getting his, the last bit of HP down is really tough. Take that. Oh my gosh, yeah, his one wind guard me did that much damage. Not really sure how to deal with that attack, if I'm supposed to use like a rifle or not. Yeah, if you do like really quick short hops, you can get the jumps a whole lot faster. Alright, we're gonna wait for after the wind guard me. There we go. Now we're gonna jump him nine times. And this'll just loop him. And allow you to deal an insane amount of damage. Okay, desperation move time. Now we're gonna wear the face of despair. Wear the face of despair. You can dodge roll through it. You can also use grapple if you're not comfortable with that. This is the move you want to watch out for, where he just warps around and attacks you a whole bunch. Not really sure what to do about that one. And towards the end of the fight, that's basically all he will do. Where's the fun in this? And we can't even use Beast. Well, that one you don't really get learns off of, but you 
can just punish it by jumping away from it. But when can you not guard him? Because it's really annoying when you do that. Guarding you now, it's all in, huh? Not the win. Oh. <laughs> Donald and Gooby just always get killed by that. It's great. Not really. Alright, Raffle gets a ghost friend there. I wish you could get more than nine jumps at a time. Alright, as long as he doesn't do his desperation move here. Oh, of course he does. At least I had my heal in time. I recommend getting good at using dodge roll to get through this, just because we don't always have energy to deal with. And the timing's not that bad once you get it down. Wind guard me. <laughs> what? Did you say my name? <laughs> Alright. Getting really down. Getting down low. <laughs> Stop saying my name! I'm like the hardest one to reach when it's the one you can always consistently do. I just wanted to get the free heal and MP heal. Oh man. Yeah, you're gonna need MP for this fight because Refugas are just essential. Come on. Another thing you can do is you can equip the Guardian Soul Keyblade from Orin. That'll make your jumps do even more damage. In fact, if I fail against Vec if I fail against Zaldan again, I think I will equip the Guardian Soul Keyblade. Because I think that actually might be worth it, the extra damage you get from the jump. Yeah, I'm gonna try it out. I think the jumps are gonna deal basically a whole bar of HP worth of damage from Guardian Soul. I think it deals, makes reaction commands deal 50% more damage, and I believe that carries over to the jumps. Even though that's not technically a reaction command, but you get them from a reaction command. Where's that fun in this? Come on. Not gonna be quite as powerful as the ultimate weapon, but that's okay. What? Wind 
Actually, that doesn't seem to really be doing any more damage than the ultimate weapon. Once you got nine jumps, just use super lag. Then dodge roll. I love the way Zalvin uses his lances, though. He's, he is clearly an expert with lances, which is really cool. Donald's like, I've been dead for a while. <laughs> That was weird, it wouldn't let me cure it. Alright, yeah, Guardian Soul ain't doing nothing for me. So I'm switching back to Ultimate Weapon. Maybe I should try using Duck Flare for this fight. Where's that fun in this? Come on! <laughs> Wow, that actually deals a lot of damage. Actually, Duck Flare was really good. It's just it requires Donald to be alive, which is a tall order. Alright, he's gotta be doing desperation right now. Yep. I ain't using none of these jumps on him when he's in this state. Nor am I going to heal Donald while he's doing desperation because Donald will immediately die again. Never mind, Donald got up just in time for him to die again. Good job, Donald. <laughs> Did you say Sora? Sora's coming to you! Oh wow, it didn't even help Donald. Donald's like, I was just a little too far away. Don't worry, I'll come back to life just in time to die again. Dog got it, Donald. Get good at dodge rolling, because you're going to need it for some of the later fights. Alright, I think this will do it. Yeah, this will finish him. Goodbye, Zipboss Alden. Is this the end? Yes, it's the end for you.
That is probably the... That's the most legitimately difficult day to fight, for sure. <laughs> I love the spread of lances of the Zaldan. And we get a defense boost for defeating Data Zaldan. Speaking of which, did I ever use my last defense boost? I did not. Well, we're going to Sora, obviously. Yeah, Data Zaldan, he's like really legitimately difficult. Like, you need a lot of skill. You need to be good at dodge rolling. You need to be good at the learns and the jumps in order to be effective against him. And dry forms really aren't all that useful against him. Mainly due to his uh, wind guard me, which basically like let nullifies all damage against him. But that's a fun fight. Like, that's still a fun fight. And that's why I think that's a data fight done right. It's really difficult, but it's still an enjoyable fight to have. So yeah, I'd put that as the most legitimately difficult uh, data fight, but it's a good fight. So well done, designers of Kingdom Hearts 2. Well done.